Okay, so boom, how could Tupac end up getting crossed out in a penitentiary? Now, one thing for sure, two things for certain. If you know how to play chess, do you already know? The queen is the most deadliest piece on the board because she moves however she want to move in whichever direction she choose to. Now, if you're an inmate in a penitentiary and you got an officer and they really fool with you, male or female, if you really got them in your hand, they going to do whatever you tell them to do. Now, there's been situations where I done told the officer, hey, look, do this for me, do that for me. So I know that it's possible. So a dude who got to listen to me, the boy deadly, and he even more deadly if he got the officer in the rumors and the people ain't started chatting and they don't know you the one who got him. So you really never know what's going on when officer two, uh-uh, put your hands up on the wall. Dudes are sending the police in your cell to get your property. Guess what? They know that TV ain't on your list. They know them CL20s you just went over and took from white boy John ain't on your list. They know that radio ain't on your list. They know, listen, they know you got an extra blanket in there. And a lot of times they can go in there and confiscate your stuff. And the same dude who got the officer probably got somebody in the property room. And, and they pro and it's probably they hustle. I done seen that happen before. Hey, dude got that TV ain't on his list, baby. Go on there, snatch the TV up, tell him you ain't gonna write him up. You just don't want no lip. I'm gonna get my guy in the property room to grab the TV. And then next thing you know, he written the TV out or he done sold the TV for fit it out. Or he come back, pop, pop, pop. Hey, man, I seen she came out of here with the TV, man. What's up? Man, wasn't even on my list, bro. Man, she done came in here tripping. Talking about, let me see the back of your TV. I had the number scratched out on her, bro. So she done snatched the TV. Told me, man, she wasn't even going to write me up, but she taking the TV. Man, look, look, look. My guy down there in the property room, you know what I'm saying? I can get it back for you, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little something. Give me, you know what I'm saying? 25, 35, huh? Man, you can get the TV back for real good. Man, listen, man. I'm going to holler at my dude, you know what I'm saying? Just kick me a little something. I'm going to give him a little something, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to want him but a couple swags or something. i get your TV back. Man, do that for me, man. Yeah, she tripping, man. I don't know what's up. And the, uh, same thing with the CL20s. Same thing with the radio. Listen, they'll kick your door in. Next thing you know, she come in, patch it. She come in, patch it down. Or you got that sack out or something. She'll grab the sack and I write you up. Next thing you know, she's sitting in the cage chilling. She done threw it in the trash can. He done came in her. Hey, got it out the trash Popped you down, or she done came by, walked by his cell. Hey, what y'all doing in here? Threw it in his cell and gave it to him. Listen, you a dangerous man in the penitentiary when you got that officer. And she gonna tell you anything you wanna know. She gonna tell you all the affiliates who done came up. And she done, all right, what you doing today? Man, I ain't doing nothing. Man, I ain't trying to stay away from these clowns. All your homeboys tripping. Man, hey, what's up with your homeboy? He be acting. Man. Perverted Rainbow Club on the low. We got him under investigation right now. Oh, she telling all that. Oh, yeah, your homeboy pulled up on me. Told you me such and such and such and such. You know I don't work on the weekend. You know what I'm telling Told me you weren't going to visit. Yeah, told me you going to visit and that. Listen, it's a, it's, a cold, it's a cold game, man, when you when you got that officer. But let me tell you about my guy, uh, Tupac. See, they call, they call him Tupac for one. You know what I'm saying? He was bald-headed, short. You know what I'm saying? He had took pop, 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 pop. Took five shots, you know what I'm saying, to the body. He ended up surviving. And then before I get into this part, I'm going to say this right here. When you affiliated, a lot of times in the penitentiary, you in the cell with people who the same affiliation as you. Unless it's a family member or something, they probably just going to bypass and let you get. But if it ain't if it ain't a family member, nine times ten, you got a new, you got somebody that's neutral. You got a peon in there. And the nine times ten, if you got the peon in there, you got them in there like that because you're going to want them to take charges for you if somebody come in there. And a lot of times, affiliates won't even tell you that. They come in, something go left or something go wrong. Next thing you know, they saying, man. Man, you got to take that charge. And if you don't take the charge, you know what I'm saying, they're going to put the muscle on you. Next thing you know, you probably end up in the whole black eye or something like that. So a lot of times it's already, stood like, it's already understood like the bar. You in the cell with somebody affiliated, them folk come in there and find something. That's how I tell you, you taking that charge. Don't matter if you got parole coming up, you got a visit coming up. It don't matter. When they go, I had that. Commercial break me, please, before I get it, because this story good. I had it happen to me one time, but it was somebody I was cool with. He tell me later on, man, they told me, man, I should have should have had you. And this after I wasn't affiliated. They told you what? <laughs> oh, that, that one gonna never happen, my guy. I wasn't gonna take no charge. I don't care what them folks told you. Because <laughs> Joe, Joe T wasn't gonna take no charge. But 
So Tupac, Tupac liked the gang. He liked to smoke their weed. You know what I'm saying? He one of them dudes. He'll rob Peter to pay Paul or wait for his selling to do this and do that. And next thing you know, he trying to pay with his selling money. You know what I'm saying? So he got a PR in the cell with him. T Tupac took five shots. I remember when I met him. He said, man, hey, hey, man, say, man, Joe T. Man, I wouldn't go back and change nothing, Joe T. I ain't even going to lie. I'd do the same thing all over again, man. Dude going to run in my house. I was out there getting off, getting off. You know what I'm saying? Big boy monkey chunk in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Rocking up. You know what I'm saying? Head them red monkeys on. You know what I'm saying? I'm out trapping, right? So I ended up going, I ended up going to the house. And I had been telling myself all day, man, something feeling off, something feeling off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if everybody be feeling like that, but you know what I'm saying? Even when you're in the streets, your tears seem like, you know what I'm saying, the most high still be trying to give you signs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture do say he, he, he reigned on the just and the unjust, right? So I'm out riding out, and I just had this little eerie feeling, right? And I'm thinking probably going to get pulled over, got to work on me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I ain't even going to go to the little junk house. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Might be a setup over there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm finna go on to the house. You know what I'm saying? My gal, she getting ready to roll out. You know what I'm saying? So my daughter there. You know what I'm saying? So I go in the house. I, I hit the GTA, turn the GTA on. So I'm in here doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm As I'm playing the game, you know what I'm saying? My daughter will come out of the back room next time, you know. Doo! They kick the door in, man. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? They, they Joe T got what? Man, them folk come in the house, bird face, you know what I'm saying? So when they come in the house, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna reach no, no my, my daughter right there, she started screaming immediately. She run to the back room, she daddy, daddy, daddy. So when they come in, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling them, man, y'all can take everything. My child, I ain't finna buck these folks in front of my child, Joe T, you know what I'm saying? Then my strap in the back room and all, I'm like, man, what? The whole time, I'm thinking, man, I knew something was off. Something, I was feeling off about something, you know what I'm saying? Dude, them probably had been following me the whole day. Let me tell you something, just, just, I wouldn't take nothing back. So. I tell them, you know what I'm saying, let's go in the back room. With, they follow me to the back room, so they hit, pow, I'm talking about hit me in the back of the head, right? So they hit me in the back of the head, I'm thinking, man, come on, man, my child right there. They talking about, man, forget you. They closed the door on my daughter, you know what I'm saying? They ain't do nothing great. So they closed the door on my daughter, Josie. We go to the back room, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I get in the dresser, as soon as they see the road, they pop, 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 pop. Hit me five times, you know what I'm saying? I'm moving, you know what I'm saying? Pop, pop. He was like, he'll go to the shot right here, you know what I'm saying? They hit me one time right here in the leg. Then they hit me in the thigh right here. Then I got one right here. You see that right there? They, that one really went through and through, came out. Then they hit me right here, you know what I'm saying? Same way, then they hit me one time, you know what I'm saying? In the back, the doctor was saying, you know what I'm saying? Really just hit, hit my spine, you know what I'm saying? My daughter ran in, she screamed. Ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really good, though, because it really wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? So my daughter grabbed the phone, called the police. Ambulance come get me, Joe T. You know what I'm saying? It took me about, man, it took me a little minute to recover. You know what I'm saying? It took me about, took me about, th about three months, you know what I'm saying? It took me about three months before I was really just, you know what I'm saying, able to move around and stuff again. You know what I'm saying? Everybody coming to check on me. To keep in mind, I ain't forgetting no faith. I ain't forgetting no faith, you know what I'm saying? In the streets, you know what I'm saying? I could have seen you a year ago in Miami somewhere, you know what I'm saying? You'd have came to my city, I would have said, man, I seen you in Miami, man. You were there. Yeah, you was, you were coming through, the, you was in the McDonald's. Yeah, I'll get ready. I, I ain't forgetting no face, Joe T. So these do I'm already knowing they're on the other side of town, and then you already know the city done got to talking. They think they done came in, bodied me, you know what I'm saying? I done survived it, you know what I'm saying? So everybody, man, yeah, 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 we're gonna do this. We like we ain't gonna have to do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Come on, go handle my own business, Joe T. You know what I'm saying? They came in here, did this in front of my child. Lucky my, my gal is just left. I ain't gonna lie, my gal, you know what I'm saying? She yeah, 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 yeah. She, you know what I'm saying? She's more on man. She's more on man. She probably would have went, you know what I'm saying? She probably would have tried to get that ass and come out the room. So I'm glad she wasn't there. So, man, as soon as I was able to move again, Joe T, I'm riding around one day, right? I got that ass. I ain't gonna know. I'm talking about I got that big boy. I'm talking about I got that big boy. That Draco joint, you know what I'm saying? The little, the, the short on it, you know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm riding, you know what I'm saying? From a distance, I see little buddy coming out of the house, right? He walking towards the car. I, Henry up, jump straight out. Poof, 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 poof. I'm talking about coming out like John Wick 2.0. Get behind the car. He take out run. I, poof, 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 poof. I run, man, listen. Ran him down, Joe T. Poof, 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 poof. By the time I hit it, clip it, walk up. Poof, 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 poof. I run back to get in the car, Joe T. Whole time. I ain't even knowing, Joe T. Dude that was with him, he in the house. He done watch me run down the homeboy and anything. He done call the police. Tell the police on me, write a statement and anything. I ain't even knowing it till I'm down here in the county, right? I ain't got no bond. I ain't got no bond. You know what I'm saying? I'm a menace to society, basically, what they were trying to say. So I'm sitting down here in the county. Couldn't afford no lawyer. I ain't gonna lie to you, Joe T. You know what I'm saying? I was out there, you know what I'm saying? But 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole nother story. But commercial break me, please. That's how most dudes do. They be in the street. They're doing out all this unnecessary stuff. Thinking they getting off, making a little money. They trick here and there. Got nice clothes on. They go to jail. Can't afford a lawyer or a bond. You know, so, so <laughs> that's a side note right there. That was an honorable mention, actually. So, he tell me, yeah, Joe T, man, so, uh, I get a, I get the pro bono junk, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't up find the lawyer that gave me. They give me the pro bono junk, you know what I'm saying? The real lawyer, that she get the most of the discovery. Come in there, you know what I'm saying? When she showing me the most of the discovery, it's got the name in there, right? So I done called the town and tell them, man. And then, then, then they start. They were like, man, that was dude homeboy and this is that. And then my lawyer end up showing me a picture of the dude. I'm like, man, that's the dude. So my lawyer telling me I should have pressed charges on him and this this that. Cause I'm telling, man, I ain't doing no, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it straight. We go to court. I'm asking my lawyer, you know what I'm saying? If she could bring it up in the courtroom, they tell him, they tell him, they basically object to my lawyer. She can't bring it up that it was some street because the, 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 uh, the prosecutor saying I didn't press no charge. So ain't no proof of this man was the man who shot me on the street. So couldn't even use that, don't you? Man, ain't no bamboos, man. I'm sitting here with 25, man, for real, trying to keep it in the street. Man, right? never again, JT, never again. I ain't, nah, I ain't nothing like that. I should have called a boat. You should be, you should be what? You <laughs> say it again. Man, I'm just saying, JT, I'm just keeping it real, man. Dude ran in my house, hit me five times, man. I done ran him down. You know, poo, 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 poo. I done ran him down. You know, I wouldn't go back and change nothing, though. Them folks ran in my house like that. But I ain't going for nothing like that, JT. I said, oh, that was up, that was up. And he said it. My guy, slow motion. I actually got a few stories about slow motion before this incident. They called him slow motion because this dude talk slow. Hey, Joe T, what you got going on, man? He talks slow. He moves slow. Man, you know what, man? You you remind me of my homeboy, man, from the projects, man. Hold on, hold on, slow motion. <laughs> you say... Man, I was raised in the projects, Joe T, man. They love me out there, man. Uh, move slow motion, talk slow motion, ran in slow motion. Listen, man, play dominoes in slow motion. All right, it's your turn, slow mo. Man, I know, man. Give me a second, man. Give me 15, man. On cub, near, man. What you mean, slow mo? I'm just saying what y'all be saying, man. Give me 15, man. Five, five, and five. All right, slow motion is on you. I'll give, I'll give me 25, cuz. <laughs> look, look, look. But he, he, was, he was cool as hell. He was cool as hell. So, Tupac end up on this vice lord, right? The vice lord messing with the female officer at the time. Female officer was cool, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. This, this was one of them females. She was very aware of probably other people knowing, but she wasn't around here playing super police game and at the same time breaking the law. You know what I'm saying? She'll flirt with you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I did this, that, but she ain't gonna break the law for nobody but dude. She was, she was loyal, but at the same time, she wasn't in here being super police. She come in the, she come in the cell and you smoking, you know what I'm saying? She might, you know what I'm saying, tell you you need to, do, 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 do. but she wasn't no super police. So when she do something, a lot of people would assume, oh, this must be one of them hot days. They might have came in and, and said something about what something that was going on in the unit uh, earlier that day. You know what I'm saying? They might be uh, uh, coming in and checking more that day. So, and then she, she might have to get a little write-up on the jacket. I'm going to tell you something. Pitch rules in effect. A lot of dudes will look out for officers. I got stories of officers who got fired because inmates decided to tell on them. And like, look, look, I promise you, man, she down there helping the inmates and stuff. Look, I, I can prove it, man. I can tell her, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be a hot day and this, this, and that. And guess what? The inmates will stay. They'll stay something because they'll get the write-up and show. And then later on, they'll, they'll get the inmate advisor, you know what I'm saying, pay him, get the write-up uh, ripped up or whatever, and then get the write-up thrown out. But she came in and did something. It ain't like she been in this pod for a certain amount of time. She ain't never wrote nobody up. She fraternized with the inmate. She bringing them food. So every now and then, got to look like, you know what I'm saying? She the police every now and then. I done seen several dudes do that. Man, you got to get a write up or something, man. My white boy, you know what I'm saying? Going to sale, catching with his rig. Cool, you know what I'm saying? We'll 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 keep getting the write up put off and then we'll get the write up snack. He'll be cool, but you, you know what I'm saying? You got to make it look like you the police sometimes. 
know what I'm saying? Call the gold bag down here. He gonna buck you a little bit, say it's cool. He ain't gotta go to the hole. He just, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, whatever. So they will do that. So this <laughs> this dude, the Tupac owed the vice lord. Now and that, I'm gonna tell you something. People get sick of you acting like you don't see them. You ever hear somebody owe you some money? And then you see them and they, they avoid eye contact, don't have way to speak. They, they, they act like that ain't yours. Or when you ask them about the money, they get offended and act like you done said something wrong to them. Look, look here, bro. That That's that's mine. That belonged to me. And then, oh, dang, you tripping about that? Dang, you tripping about that little money I told y'all? Hey, it wasn't nothing little about it when you asked me for it. Huh? I didn't say, I didn't say, dang, you ain't got that for your little situation. I ain't, I ain't say, dang, that little bit of condo you couldn't pay it. I ain't say, dang, dang, that little bit of such and such, dang, that little bit, of, you you just, and then, hold on, why you trying to fade me? See, that reverse psychology stuff ain't going to work with inside to pay me my money. <laughs> in this situation right here, it's one of them situations where Tupac come in, and he probably wasn't even avoid eye contact. He probably just was flat out penitentiary bucking him, like, it is what it is. So the vice little, hey, hey, what's up, Tupac, man, when you going to pay me my money? And when you say that, in the middle of the part, all hands going to turn Cause listen, disrespect and being in debt don't don't do that. It, Cause if you do, penitentiary rules is in effect. So the whole part kind of turned. Get what Tupac said. Oh, you can chop that homie. That's old with him. He got his people with him, but at the same time, Tupac got covered with him. So at that point, it's kind of it, they looking at it as dang. He done put you on blast. He put you on blast. But Tupac responded with, since that's how you feel, it's all we choking. Now get it in blood. So that the vice lord ain't five ain't got no choice but to respond and be like, man, you got me messed up. Because he can't say, oh, that was up. You got that. Th these are fighting words. Asking me about the money in front of everybody. And his re these are fighting words in the penitentiary. This is, be this is probably equivalent to being called a B word. So when he say that, he said, oh, you got me messed up. You ain't taking nothing. Man, what's up? I've been on you. You ain't been since, since I don't know what you. They get to fight right there in the middle of the park. Just so happened, the female officer is right there. And she, this is her dude fighting. So she ain't finna call the code and send them to the hole. So she get up, uh-uh, y'all need to be doing that in the city. Y'all need to break that up. Y'all need to get y'all home, boy. Y'all don't want me to call in the code and have them down. Because they going to come down here and get to searching everybody. Trying to so they break the fight up. Cook. The vice lord say, oh, let's get the one in the cell. They go to, they go from fight right there. He lost the little session right there. He lost the little session right there in front of the girl. Now he want to go to the cell. So now all these people walking over here to the cell, the vice lord in the crib, the vice lord's in the crib walking over here. At this point, you already know what time it is with me. I don't know. The G's feel like they got to huddle up like it's some kind of hostile environment and we got to make sure we uh, amp up on security. They tell me, go get the knife just in case. They pull up on me. Bro, what's up, bro? What's up? We good? Yeah, we good. That's the vice lords in the crib, bro. That ain't got nothing. I'm just saying, bro, just in case, you know what I'm saying? Pop off in here. You never know, man. They might, you know what I'm saying? I don't know which one of the brothers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, somebody he might. Just... Man, listen, bro. I ain't, listen. Y'all need to chill. I ain't even on that type. Of I don't know what y'all got going on, but that ain't got nothing. Them is the vice lords and crips that's into it. It ain't got nothing to do with us, bro. You ain't got to be standing on high alert. Causing all this attention. Don't come up here with me trying to get me confirmed. You can move around for me. I'm matter of fact, I'm finna go in the cell. I'm not finna keep they go in the cell. Get the 101. Do Tupac whoop him again. Tupac come out the cell talking crazy. Kissing his kissing his muscle, all this old type of stuff. That's embarrassing. He messing with the girl. Now let me tell you something. Like I said, this is chess, not jackals. Vintage rules in effect. This man in the cell with slow motion, which is a white boy. Tupac owe this man some money. He's got the officer. He done shined in front of this officer. This man tells this girl when she doing her count time at night to say she done seen them doing something in the cell. She done told, he done told her that this is the ultimate cross out. Because let me tell you something. If an officer say this in a penitentiary, it's pretty much stamped. Because when she say it out loud, everybody going to come to the door to see which cell it is. 
Hey, cub, what y'all got? And she's got to call the code when you're doing perverted rainbow game. You're going to the hole. So this girl, he done told her, yeah, say they down there playing the perverted rainbow game. Holler, get up off of them. What y'all doing? That's nasty. Do all that right there. <laughs> Hit the code. They going to come in. They going to pack y'all up. You're going to the hole. From there, the next morning, the entire unit going to be talking about it. It's going to go from one unit to the next, from that unit to the bottom of the hill. Listen to me. The whole compound going to be saying, oh, yeah, yeah. Man, Officer Jones done caught Tupac and a little slow motion up there. See, see, he was up there getting that. See, he was up there getting that guac guac in slow motion up there. Man, do what? Cool, we're doing what? Man, say she was doing a uh, count time right before, you know what I'm saying? She was whatever, whatever. Say she looked in the door, told to. Say she hung. Man, get up off of him that night. What's wrong with y'all? I'm finna call him. He said the slow motion was in there getting some in that slow motion. Say Cud them came out the next day trying to figure out what's going on. And she said, Y'all just gonna have to read the write up. And like, that's y'all homeboy, whatever. But whatever your homeboy, she was gonna ride it out. Oh, this the ultimate gross out. And of course, they sending kites back there. He's sending kites from the back because he already tried to explain the situation. Slow motion trying to send kites out to whoever. He ain't even affiliated. Man, he ain't, they sending him kites back there. What happened? Tell us the truth. If we, you can stay on the compound, this, this, and that. And good Tupac telling him, I'm coming back to the compound. I ain't tripping on none of that. She lied, and when I get out there, off the muscle, I'm going I'm to go see about it. He don't have no choice in this situation because if he come out of the hole, he can't, he can't fight the right up. He don't know where it's coming from. He everybody ain't off the top gonna say, oh, he told that girl. Some people might assume, but his only really response is is to do something to the officer. Then the officer probably not aware of that it could go that far. This man got 25 years. You know what I'm saying? Probably only had like eight of it done. He's got to spend a lot of time in the penitentiary, which means if he go to another penitentiary and he's been stamped with perverted rainbow gangs and he was the homeboy, he going to have a hard time for the rest of the time in the penitentiary. So just like a dude who done said something in the penitentiary and now you got to be confronted. Nine times ten, if you lying on me, or I'm going to go ahead and go in your mouth. So at this point, she's probably about to get an assault on an officer. This man comes out the hole, he in the unit across the hall. This woman working. Guess what? You waste no time. Drop all this stuff. Commercial break me, please. You want to hear the rest of this story? You already know what time it is. Yeah. It's membership time. Yeah, it's membership time. And, uh, yeah, you have to click them three little dots right there. Pow, pow, pow. When you click them three little dots, you're going to see the membership link. For the people who saying that the membership link don't work, all y'all do is ask me for it. All y'all do is jump in the comments and say, hey, Joe T, hey, I'm tired of not being able to see the rest of the video. Send me the membership link, Joe T. I got to see the rest of this story. Boom. I'm going to send you the membership link right there. And the two for one uh, book sale is almost over because I'm going to uh, discontinue this one probably to the end of the year. Only one going to be for sale is The Life of Boo Baker. Both of them on sale right now. Two for 25 For everybody who's been asking about the pig sweats, they back on the website. Go to jtb3.org. It also got the, uh, what's the name? And I've been working on it. Well, I ain't been working on it yet. I'm probably about to start working on it this week. Uh, my first project, my first short film project is done. It's it's being edited and and put together right now. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get the dramatics in it, the the the, uh, the music I want to put in it. Uh, getting out, yeah, yeah, get, getting it all together. But it's done, being shot. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And you already know that the membership gonna get it first. Yeah, y'all might get a little piece of it on video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna put it on the website too. It will be two dollars. If you don't want to get the membership. But back to the story. So my guy get out of the hole, right? They put him across the hall. Of course, when he get out of the when he get out of the hole, this is the thing about getting out of the hole. When you get out of the hole, everybody gonna see you walk into the building. So this is the problem right here. As he's walking to the building and his homeboys see him, you can tell that it's something going on because all the, hey, hey, cook, cook. The, even the homeboys who ain't on his hood, they about to go and see what's going on with this particular situation. So here come the guys again. Hey, hey, Joe T, man, I think something going on, man. Tupac just got out the hole. You know what I'm saying? We might need to get on. 
Man, we don't need to get on point, bro. That ain't got nothing to do with us. That's the Crips. That, that's Pac, that's Tupac and them. Man, I'm just saying, man, just in case it pop off, man. Man, I'm good. I ain't, don't bring me no knife. Don't talk to me about no knife. Don't come to me talking about no security. That is the Crips. All the, the Crips who run, of course, you're going to have some homeboys who ready to ride with them, who going to stick with them. Then you got some homeboys who probably on some cross out stuff who, man, they, I ain't been liking because they, they probably had a disagreement a year ago. And now this is an opportunity to say, man, that off same line, man. Hey, cause why? Man, she ain't never did nothing like that. She cool as ever. Man, we done looked out for her. She done looked out for her. She don't be calling the police down here. She ain't really sending folks to the whole nothing. Why would she go by the cell and say slow motion was in her getting his from here in slow motion, cuz? They, they, they gonna be on all that. Man, I'm, come on, cuz. You already know. Man, and everybody already know he's supposed to be. The then cuz them and then a couple days later, you tell me she done, man, come on, cuz that ain't man. I'm just saying, cuz, cuz he been in his head with her for what? How long he been in his head with her? He on he every time we done said, you know, we don't have no, we need all the homeboy. He talking about now nah, slow motion gonna stay in the cell with me. Slow motion, then and then and then slow motion. Man, dang, cuz. Why they why they want me out of the cell with you for cuz? I mean, the homeboys are cool and all, but dang, why they want to cross me out for Cause Man, he don't never want to come out of this hill with slow mo, man. That crazy, man. Then they stay eat meals together. They breaking bread together all the time. I'm telling her, I've been through it, cuz. I just didn't want to say nothing because I ain't had no proof. Then she going to walk through and holler, dance and add. Cuz, as soon as I came to the door, cuz, I can look out the door. I tell the city, hey, silly, look at this, silly. My silly come to the door. Get what he said, cuz. Man, you said it, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz. He was down there getting the heat in slow motion, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz. Cuz got rolled, cuz. So they fade over there. Whatever the conversation was, who know? Them folks come back across the hallway. Ain't no talking. Ain't no. I'm sitting on the walk. Soon as he come through, he go straight. See, they had the cage then. He go straight to the cage. Let me tell you where she messed up at. He go straight to the cage. The cage door is locked. You can't. She's got to unlock the cage, though, to let you in. He comes to the cage. Man, what type of games you playing, CEO? Come on, man. You already know what's going on. Tell me, folks. Man, I seen what I seen. You know what you did. Don't be walking over here. You got... She ain't hit the code. She trying to argue with him because 9 times 10, she thinking five probably finna defend or she thinking she can buck to a certain extent because now she thinks she's an inmate. And see, that's what normally happens to these CO. You come in, the inmates looking out for you, you looking out for them, you been getting away with breaking the law, and now all of a sudden you think penitentiary rules in effect apply to you, they apply to you too. So she come out, now you need to get on call back, you need to get on back across the hallway, you got me messed up. <laughs> she up against the wall. At this point, I'm going in the cell. This man just, this is out on the officer. We're getting locked down. Hey, 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 white boy Rick, white boy Rick. I come here, let me holler at you real quick. Let me go and give you the phone. Cause we <laughs> we better go on institutional lockdown. He done grabbed this CEO. Hey, go down there and tell us that you been on me. You know what I'm saying? You need to go and send it up here. Cause we finna be on lockdown for two, three weeks. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 phone, hey, phone. Let me holler at you real quick. Hold on real quick, Jody. Get what she do while he, he made me, he, who made you? Who made you? The homeboy. What you just said, see, oh, he let her go. She still don't call the code. It go from right there straight over to fast sale. Fast sale thinking he done orchestrated his thing to the T and think he finna get away with it. He's sitting in the cell not even knowing what's going on. By the time all the crypt, listen, it ain't gonna be just his hood at this time. It's gonna be all the homeboys at this time. They all the riders is what they say. All, all the riders is going over. So when they go to the door, of course, five of them come over. They, man, she got, man, he got the game messed up. Man, what's what's going on? Hold on, hold on, what's going on? Bro, he come out of the door. Pow. Man, what's up? Man, what's up? Man, the girl done said, man, you done told her to say such and such such such, man. Man, you got me messed up, man. I need to see you, girl. I need to see you. Man, you ain't talking about nothing. I ain't told her nothing with the CEO. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. At this point, that's what the homeboy. Either y'all gonna take care of him or we gonna take care of him. Man, y'all do what y'all wanna do with him. That's the thing about being affiliated right there. At the point them folks say, y'all do whatever y'all want, you you aged out at that point. No protection, no no aid assistance, no nothing. And at this they they done wash their hands. So it could them decide to go in here and smash on you, they done already said it's done. You you gonna have to roll after that anyway. Ah, right, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We could they they ain't want no war. Of course, some of them probably want to have her. Man, hold on, man, y'all ain't finna do bro like that, man. She lying and did this and that. Man, ain't none of that. 
you see all these crips out here? It's only, and cause when all the crips and all the riders together, of course it's gonna be a bigger number, unless you separate rolling 60, five dudes, 40, 90, kitchen, great, you know, on so, you know, Avalon, unless you break all of them down, then they smaller group. But when all of them standing together and saying, oh no, either y'all take care or we take care, and the girl is saying this, and, that, and five, five of them probably, a couple of them probably know, at this point, live what it is. But they let cuz go in, get the one on one. Of course, he whoop them. After that, they go in and say, he's got a roll. You hear it again. Skr, 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 skr. By the time it was the, by the time it's lockdown time, ACO. ACO, everybody at the door. Everybody at the door. Y'all ever went to a concert before and they tell everybody to turn their phones on and turn the little light on? That that's what it's like. That's what it's like. That's that's what it's like when you get ready to do the walk of shame, right? You ACO, everybody standing at the door. They done lit it up in there. They they on the crack of the door like this. I feel, I feel threatened for my life when I need to go to the back. What you say? You need to do what? Man, come on, CO, man. I ain't safe in here right now, man. Call the captain down here. Uh-uh, ain't nobody calling the captain down here when you come out. <laughs> that, that's how them CO, that's how those CO's gonna do you. Bitch, it's your rules in effect. You already know what time it is.